Hi there, I'm Jay Foster, and in this video, we're tackling wanting. Pretty much every waking moment, which seems like we're wanting something, right? We want anything from a decorative knickknack to a championship ring. We want more money so that we can buy more stuff. We want more sleep, and we want to have more fun. We want bigger houses and less demanding jobs and lower taxes. Sounds good to me. We want that special relationship. We ask ourselves, is this the job that I want? Is this the life that I want? You get the picture. We're consumed or even obsessed with wanting. So what does wanting feel like? I mean, does wanting produce an actual bodily sensation? You know when you're at the grocery store and you see that little kid and he's holding that chocolate candy bar at the checkout and the parent says, Put it back. And the kid looks up at the, at the parent and he says, but I want it. The small child has this lusting towards this chocolate bar. And as adults, we feel the exact same way. We feel just like that little kid, only we, we learn to hide it better. Wanting is a grippy, graspy feeling. It's instant and it's completely sensory based. And if you pay very close attention to the way wanting feels, there's a emptiness in your core. It feels like an absence. Can you feel that longing or lusting? Wanting emerges in us instantly. We see something and boom, we want it. Then, once we attain that item that was so sought after, our attention soon shifts to some other shiny object that we don't yet possess. We can get caught in this wanting and attaining and wanting and attaining pattern. In this way, wanting is shallow because the satisfaction of having doesn't stay with us very long. Have you ever stopped and asked yourself if wanting may be causing suffering? Think about it. If I want an ice cream cone, I am also simultaneously acknowledging that I don't have an ice cream cone. It's acknowledging a lack. With every want, there is an unstated lack. Oftentimes, the want makes us blind to the lack because the object of our affection occupies our full attention. But what if we were to change the words to make them consistent with the true subtle wanting feeling that we have? Instead of, I want those brand new headphones, the words would go something like this. I don't have those brand new headphones, or I lack those headphones. Rather than, I want that sporty new jacket, the words that match your internal state sound more like this. I don't have that sporty jacket. These are terrible affirmations. There's a common belief that if you want something bad enough, you'll get it. But actually, the opposite is true. The more you lust for something, the more you acknowledge that it's missing from your life, and the further you push away manifesting that very thing in your life. So what should we replace all this wanting with instead? Gratitude. The feeling of being thankful for what you have. This is actually the opposite feeling, right? I am so grateful for my family, my friends. I am grateful that I can put food on the table. I am so thankful that I get to share myself with you in these videos. How does gratitude actually feel? I mean, what's the actual sensation? You feel a, a calm hum inside. You feel fullness. You feel whole and complete. This feeling creates optimism and draws more abundance to you. The next time you find yourself wanting something, change your thought stream to feeling grateful instead. Notice how it makes you feel. Do this over a long period of time and notice how it transforms your life. 